happening? I mean, first, I think it's it's. I'm happy that you took the opportunity to explain. <laughs> yes. Uh, what what the referendum is really about, and I think there's there's a good deal of confusion, uh, voter confusion about what's exactly on the ballot. Yeah. But even once you clarify, as you did in your mom's case. I think her reaction also speaks to a certain sentiment that is commonly shared. Mm. So, as I said in one of my uh, social media posts today, if indeed the question on the ballot was, <coughs> do you like the way political parties conduct business in this town or in this country? Or do you like the way political parties have behaved themselves in this fourth republic? If that was the question on the ballot, I think the answer for most of us would be almost a close to unanimous no. No. Right? That is not the question on the ballot. But I understand those who have turned that into the question on the ballot. So your mom's reaction when she says, no, 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 I don't want parties, is expressing, I think, a very uh, deeply felt and wide, widely felt sentiment within the populace of a certain fatigue with political parties, a certain disappointment with the way in which our party politics has been conducted. Uh, this comes on the heels of uh, Iowa so West Wagon, mm. I mean, all of these things, right? They pile up mm. and people get frustrated that we are there to do our business. And uh, so far, your record has not been that good, both of you. So for, for many people, and they'll tell you frankly, this is an opportunity for them to tell the parties how they feel about them. So it, is, it has turned into a referendum about how we feel about the political parties. My position is simple. I have always seen, you know, my, my general view about constitutions is the constitution is a problem solving device. We use constitutions and constitutional provisions and therefore amendments to solve particular problems. Mm. What particular problem do I see we need to solve here. We have a problem in our politics that we have lamented, civil society, governance experts, citizens, of um, winner take all politics. Opposition opposes all the time politics. So the winner takes all, the loser opposes all the time. And so for me, that is one problem I've identified. And so I ask myself in this referendum, is this provision something that can contribute to remedy that problem. Mm. I'm looking at this purely in terms of solving a particular problem in our governance system. So I see, well, fine, why not? What will happen if we allow parties to participate in the election of um, district assembly mm. members, including once 243 becomes um, um, the law, including MNDCs? What will happen is that if your party were to win the national elections and therefore control power in Accra, specifically executive power, say, and in our elections these days, the margins are closed. So you win 51 49. That entitles you, under the current system, to control every single power in the land, locally and nationally, mm. to make all appointments, to control distribution of all resources. And my position is, if we have an opportunity that is saying, okay, now, instead of that model of governance, what if in the same election where you won 51-49, your opponents in certain constituencies in the country where, which are considered their strongholds, they fared much better than you. They got almost 80%, mm. sometimes even 90, 70, whatever. <clears throat> Why is it so wrong to say that in those places where they have performed you, we give them an opportunity through local elections to also be able to elect an MNDC that belongs to their party? Mm. That, that then means that at any one time in the country, you have some, the parties, the main parties, are both involved in governance. One party may be running the national government, but the other party has sufficient uh, presence across the country that they are also running certain local communities in cooperation because before you, to do it well, you have to cooperate with the national. Mm. So the problems we're having about parties 
taking and trench positions, parties not cooperating, parties just following party lines. This is one way. Because you'll be forced As to I cooperate. See, absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's no way. The local not, and the center. The local and the center will cooperate because you have an opposition party at the local level, you have a central government, and they're working together. Besides, you now have an opposition party that is not just going to be fixated all the time on opposing for opposition's sake. Because for the four years under our current system, when you're out of power, you have nothing to do but to oppose. Mm. But under the new, new vision, if that were to prevail, you would have a situation where an opposition party would be busy also participating in governance in many places in the country where we could judge their performance. So when you're in opposition, we are going to judge you not just by how many press conferences you have and how many uh, things you, you, you're, you're able to say on, on um, PM Express or News File, but on how you are governing those places <coughs> where you are running the MMC. Mm. So this is, for me, one way to decongest power from Accra, one way to have to, 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 to tame this winner-takes-all, loser-just-opposes politics. So that's why I see it as a problem-solving device. I see the problem. Does this help to contrib contribute to the solution? Yes. In my analysis, yes. And therefore, I welcome it. Mm. There, are, there are other reasons. But this is one key reason, Central in my view, one. why this is a good idea. Um, no.